हेलो गाइस वेलकम एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल जेवियर ऑनलाइन क्लासेस लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल सो हेलो एवरीवन नाउ इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द चैप्टर टेस्ट फ्रॉम द चैप्टर साइमल्टेनियस लीनियर इक्वेशन सो हियर सम नंबर 1 1 एंड दैट इज हियर 2x 3 4y दैट वन इक्वल टू 3 एंड नेक्स्ट वन हियर 5x 2y दैट वन इक्वल टू 7 so first do one thing first you have to multiply 4 with each and every term so it becomes 4 8x this one here 3y and this one equal to 12 now we can easily solve this two equation so as here coefficient of y is minus 3 here coefficient of y is minus 2 so do one thing that is equation number 1 that is equation number 2 so first multiply equation number 1 with 2 and then multiply equation number 2 with 3 so it's 16x minus here 6y that one equal to 24 and here 15x minus 6y that one equal to 21 okay so now minus it's plus here minus 6y 6y cancel out this one is x and this one equal to 3 so as x equal to 3 so 5 into 3 then here minus 2y that one equal to 7 So here minus 2y equal to 7 minus 15. So that means here y equal to as here minus 8 by minus 2. That means here 4. So x equal to 3 and y equal to 4 as your answer. Now let's move on to the next problem number 2. Number 2 here 2 into x minus 4. That one equal to 9y plus 2. And here x minus 6y. That one equal to 2. so you can write down here x equal to 2 plus 6y you can solve the equation by any method as your choice so now put down the value of x here so 2 into here 2 plus 6y minus 4 that one equal to 9y plus 2 so that one equal to 4 plus 12y minus 8 that one equal to 9y plus 2 so here 12 minus 9y it's 3y and here 2 And 4 minus 8, it minus 4. So here plus 4. That means here y equal to 6 by 3. It's 2. So as here y equal to 6 by 3, it's 2. So here therefore x equal to 2 plus 6 into 2. That means here 14. Okay. So x equal to here 14. Now the next one, sum number 3. Sorry, 2 1. So here in sum number 2 1, 97x. Plus 53y that is equal to 177, and next one here 53x 97y that is equal to 573. So as this one is equation number one, this one is equation number two. So do one thing: first multiply the equation number one with 53, and second one with 97. Okay, so that means here uh, x will be eliminate. So here it will be here five one four one x plus two eight zero nine y and then one seventy seven into fifty three it's nine three eight one. Now again this one five one four one x here nine four zero nine y and the last one here five 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 eight one. So here minus 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 it will be cancel out. So this one here minus. Six six double zero y and that one equal to minus four six two double zero. So minus minus cancel out zero zero cancel out. So y equal to four six two by sixty six and that is seven. Okay. So as y equal to seven, then just put down the value of y in any equation, equation one or equation two, and then you will get the value of x that is minus two. Okay. Suppose you have put down the value of y in this equation. So fifty three into 7 and then find out the value of x next number 2 so here in number 2 x plus y that one equal to 5.5 and next one here x minus y that one equal to 0.9 it's very easy so just add this two equation here y y cancel out so 2 x equal to 6.4 that means x equal to 3.2 So as x equal to 3.2, then y equal to 5.5 minus 3.2. So that one equal to here 2.3.
Now next some number 3 1. In 3 1 you have x plus y equal to 7 x y and the next one here 2 x minus 3 y plus x y that one equal to 0. Okay. So first multiply sorry first divide x y. So here x by x y that one equal to y by x y that one equal to 7 only. So this one as 1 by y and here 1 by x that one equal to 7. Here 2x minus 3y that one equal to minus xy. So here divided by minus xy. So here it's 2x by xy and that one will be plus 3y by xy that one equal to 1. Okay divided by minus xy. So here minus 2 by y and that one equal to here 3 by x that one equal to 1. So now do one thing, uh, multiply this one, it's equation number 1 and it's equation number 2. So multiply equation number 1 with uh, 2, not minus 2, with 2 and second one as 1. So here it's uh, 2 by y plus 2 by x that one equal to 14. Here minus 2 by y plus 3 by x that one equal to 1. So here it's cancel out. So this one as 2 by x plus 3 by x is 5 by x. So write down here 5 by x and that one equal to here 15. So x equal to 1 by 3. Okay. So x equal to 1 by 3. Now next one you have to find out y. So as here x equal to 1 by 3. So 1 by 7 equal sorry 1 by y equal to 7 minus 1 by 1 by 3. So 7 minus 3 and that one equal to 4. So y equal to 1 by 4 as your answer. Now next one sum number 3 2. In sum number 3 2 here 30 by x minus y plus 44 by x plus y that one equal to 10 and here 40 by x minus y plus 55 by x plus y that one equal to 13. Okay. So first multiply with equation 1 with 4 and second equation with 3. So that one equal to 120 by x minus y then here plus it's 176 by x plus y that one equal to 40. Here 120 by x minus y plus 55 into 3 so 165 by x plus y that one equal to here 39. Now minus 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 so it will be cancel out. And 176 minus 165, it's 11 by x plus y, that one equal to 1. So that imply you can write down x plus y equal to 11. Okay, x plus y equal to 11. Now in this way, you can also find out the next one, x minus y. For x minus y, just uh, do one thing. Uh, just put down the value of x plus y in any equation. Suppose here in the first equation, if you put down the value of x plus y, so it will be here 30, okay, 30 by x minus y plus 44 by 11, that one equal to 10, so write down as 30 by x minus y and here it's 4, so 10 minus 4, it's 6, so 6 cancel out with this one, that means here x minus y equal to 5. So as x plus y equal to 11, x minus y equal to 5, y, y cancel out, 2x equal to 16, x equal to 8, that means y equal to 3 as your answer. Now next one, sum number 4, 1. In sum number 4, 1 here, ax plus by, that one equal to a minus b. And second one here, bx, bx minus ay, that one equal to a plus b. So do one thing first multiply the equation 1 with b so it abx plus b square y then ab minus b square second one with a so abx minus a square y here a square plus ab okay so minus minus a minus plus minus minus so it's cancel out then here b square plus a square multiply with y here ab minus b square minus a square minus ab okay so that means here ab ab cancel out if common minus so it will be b square plus a square 
so next line you can write down here y equal to uh, this one as minus 1 okay so here y equal to minus 1 now next thing you have to find out the value of x so as here y equal to minus 1 so you can write down this one as a x minus b that one equal to a minus b so minus b minus b cancel out then x equal to a by a and that one equal to 1 so y equal to minus 1 and x equal to 1 now move on to the next problem here the next problem is 4 2 that is 3 x plus 2 y that one equal to 2 x y and here 1 by x plus 2 by y that one equal to 1 whole 1 by 6 that means you can write down here 7 by 6 okay now divide it by x y so it becomes 3 by y and that one equal to 2 by x then here 2 and this one here 1 by x plus 2 by y that one equal to 7 by 6 so it's very easy as here uh, you have to just multiply the second equation this one with 2 and the first equation with 1 so it 3 by y plus 2 by x that one equal to 2 and if you multiply this one with 2 so it's 2 by x plus 4 by y that one equal to here 7 by 3 multiply with 2 so minus 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 this one cancel out so it will be here minus 1 by y and here 2 minus 7 by 3 so as here minus 1 by y here minus 1 by 3 so definitely here y equal to 3 so as here y equal to 3 then you can easily find out the value of x and here value of x will be 2 okay now let's move on to some number 5 here in sum number 5, 2x minus 3 by y that one equal to 9 and 3x plus 7 by y that one equal to 2. Hence find the value of k if x equal to ky plus 5. So first you have to find out the solution of these two equation. So as here 2x, so you can write down this one as, uh, just write down this one, uh, 2x, okay. So, multiply this one with uh, what? With uh, 3 and multiply this one with 2. So, it becomes here 6x minus 9 by y and that is here 27. Here 6x plus uh, 14 by y that one equal to 4. So, minus 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 6x cancel out. So, as here uh, y 1 by y and then here minus 9 minus 14 and that one equal to here 27 minus 4 it's 23 so here 1 by y equal to 23 and here 19 okay so 19 for 23 so minus 23 that means you can write down y equal to minus 1 so as y equal to minus 1 then 2x plus 3 that one equal to 9 so from that one x equal to here 6 by 2 that is 3 okay so as here x equal to 3 and y equal to minus 1 therefore you have to find out the value of k from this equation so it's 3 it's minus k plus 5 so that means here k equal to 2 it's very easy okay now next one sum number 6 in sum number 6 here 1 by x plus y minus 1 by 2x that one equal to 1 by 30 then here 5 by x plus y plus 1 by x that one equal to 4 by 3. Then find the value of 2x square minus y square. So first you have to find out the value of this one. Clear? So as if you multiply the first equation with 5, so it will be here 5 by x plus y minus 5 by 2x and that one equal to 1 by 6. Again here 5 by x plus y plus 1 by x that one equal to here 4 by 3. So minus 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 this 2 will be cancelled out. So this one here you can write down minus 5 by 2 minus 1 into 1 by x and that one equal to 1 by 6 minus 4 by 3. Okay 1 by 6 minus 4 by 3. So next thing here. Uh, you can write down this one as minus 7 by 2x and this one here in the right hand side uh, it's minus 7 by 6 the minus 7 minus 7 cancel out so here x equal to 6 by 2 and that one equal to 3 so as x equal to 3 
So just put down the value here. So 5 by 3 plus y plus 1 by 3 that one equal to 4 by 3. So 5 by 3 plus y 4 by 3 minus 1 by 3. So that one equal to here 3 by 3 that means 1. Okay. So 5 equal to 3 plus y and then y equal to here 2. So y equal to 2 and x equal to 3. You have to find out 2 x square minus y square. That means 2 into 3 square means 9. 2 square means 4. So here 18 minus 4 that is 14. It's very easy. Okay. Now sum number 7. This is the last sum for this video. So guys if you like my video please please share this video and please subscribe my channel. So here can x y be found to satisfy the following equation simultaneously. If so then find them. So here the first equation that is 2y plus 5 by x and that one equal to 19. Second one here 5 by y minus 3 by x that one equal to 1 and the last one 3x plus 8y that one equal to 5. So as suppose this one is the first equation and let uh, this one is the second equation and this one is the third equation clear. So, if you multiply the first equation with 5, it becomes 10 by y, then that one equal to 25 by x and that one equal to 95. Now, if you multiply the second equation with 2, so it also becomes 10 by y minus 6 by x, that one equal to 2. So, 10y, 10y cancel out after subtraction. So, from that one, you will get here 31 by x equal to 93, okay. And that imply x equal to 1 by 3. So as here x equal to 1 by 3. So just put down the value of x in equation 1. And then you will find easily y equal to half. Okay. Again put down the value of x in equation 1. And then you will find y equal to what? y equal to half. Now as these three equation. Okay. As x y be found to satisfy of the following equation simultaneously that means the value of x and y both satisfy the equation 3 okay the value of x and y both satisfy the equation 3 so as here in the left hand side you have 3x plus 8y so 3 into x means 1 by 3 and y means here half so that one equal to 1 plus 4 and that one equal to 5 okay and here also 5 that means x y satisfy this equation. So you can write down hence the given three equations are simultaneously and it's true.